What's going on guys, it's Andy the Parahead Picker coming at you guys today with a little eBay Poshmark sales update video. These are uh, probably about 20, 25 items that I sold over on between the two platforms uh, in the last week. Uh, we're gonna, just going to take a wrap out the end of the year with these little sales here. Um, I posted a question on my uh, last uh, eBay Poshmark sales update video about uh, switching the format up. You guys were very, very responsive to that. You guys really seemed to like that. So I think I'm going to kind of stick with it for this video here. And uh, we'll kind of see how it goes. For those of you guys who are new to my channel, I'm a part-time eBay, Poshmark, Amazon seller. I, do, um, I also sell on places like OfferUp, uh, LetGo, Facebook Marketplace, stuff like that. Pretty much anywhere where I can make a buck or two. Uh, I do do this part-time. Um, these are the bread and butter items, like I said, that I typically like to source. Um, it's the main staple of my inventory. Um, these are the items that sell every single day for me. And this is pretty much what I pay my bills with. So um, anyway, guys, let's go ahead and jump into it. We're going to start it out with a bang, kind of. Uh, but this item here is something that I do tend to source. Um, I just got some really good money out of this one. So anyway, guys, here we go. All right. So first up, uh, this here is a vintage 90s Genko jeans graphic t-shirt. Uh, new with tags. Um, vintage t-shirts are a bread and butter item for me. Uh, I do. I love to find and source vintage t-shirts. This one just happened to be uh, new with tags, which was extremely rare, being that it was from the 90s. Gentleman who purchased this. Uh, he was super happy to find it. He let, sent me a message, said he actually was buying this to replace a current one that he had ruined or something. I was a little nervous that I may get the damaged one back, and uh, he was just going to swap them out. But uh, it did kind of restore my faith in humanity a little bit that, uh, you know, not everybody's out there to scan you to get you. So uh, he was really, really happy with this item, and I was glad, uh, you know, that I could take and uh, replace that for him. But, yeah, vintage, vintage T-shirts. Um, Love finding those, picking those up. I paid $2.99 for this at my local Goodwill. Um, I typically don't find this sort of stuff uh, in my local area. So like, I was really excited when I picked this up. Um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, I'll put my Instagram information down below. It's parahead underscore picker. Um, I've got a lot more pictures of this item over there, uh, but it's really cool. It's got this big rattlesnake and uh, eight ball. Just a really, really neat shirt. And um, I think there's a picture of what the tags look like on there too. So um, just a really nice uh, 90s um item. Uh, next, just got this uh, Legos um, Star Wars Y-Wing Fighter Manual uh, instruction book. Um, typically another bread and butter item. Uh, when I'm out of garage sales, especially um, or thrift stores occasionally, um, you know, you'll find Lego stuff um, in, in bags or whatever. A lot of times it'll just be a whole bunch of manuals thrown in. You're like, well, what do I do with them? You sell them on eBay. Um, this one here uh, actually sold for $12.27 uh, free ship. So not too bad. Basically, you know, made about $9 probably after shipping and fees. So, you know, it was just one of those little things that was just taken and uh, thrown in with a bunch of stuff, uh, a bunch of Legos that I had picked up uh, at a garage sale here this summer. So, I figured, you know, I might as well just go ahead and throw it up on eBay. Uh, another, here's another little bread and butter item. Uh, one of my buddies, uh, Cameron over at Flashback Finds, uh, he kind of turned me on to these. I'm going to talk about Cameron here a little bit more uh, coming up. But uh, anyway, uh, yeah, this is just a Hitachi uh, bread maker um, replacement manual uh, for just like a bread machine. I picked up a bread machine that had this manual and stuff like that in it at a uh, local local mom and pop thrift shop. And I figured, you know what, might as well just sell the manual. People are always looking for manuals. So uh, this this one here went for eleven ninety nine free ship. And this was part of uh, like I said the bread maker deal. I think I paid three dollars for this bread maker. So um, you know, basically, I'll just figure I paid a dollar for this manual and two bucks for the. Uh, for the remainings uh, of the bread maker. So ni nice little bread and butter item there as well. Uh, hats, uh, I love selling hats. This is just a new, uh, new without tags, just Titleist FootJoy hat. It's the tournament hat, has a Titleist logo on the front, FootJoy logo on the side, and then there'll be a uh, big um, Titleist banner. Um, they call these like the, uh, uh, a tour, uh, tour hat. They're pretty collect. Um, they're pretty desirable, but they typically always go right in this twenty dollar mark. Um, you might be able to get twenty two, twenty four bucks if you're lucky. Uh, but yeah, twenty bucks. I, I love selling hats. I think I got two or three hats in here. Typically, I don't pick up many hats unless uh, I, I'm going to sell them for at least twenty bucks plus. So um, just you know, hats are a great item to uh, pick up and find. Up next, uh, I love selling LL Bean stuff. Um, this here, um, in the more odd LL Bean stuff you can find, the better. Uh, this one here sold actually really quick. This is just a LL Bean um, Argyle sweater V-neck, but it's a tall. This is an extra large tall uh, lamb's wool, and this actually did even have a real tiny little. Um, one thing with wool, you definitely want to check out, make sure it doesn't have any holes. I did find a real small hole. I disclosed that in the photos uh, with a little arrow or whatever denoting uh, denoting that. But uh, I still got, I got thirty one forty out of that. Um, 
So really happy with that sale. I was into this uh, little sweater for $5.99 uh, at my local Goodwill. I didn't notice the hole when I bought it, but uh, when I was examining it, when I was doing my pictures, getting it all ready to go, I noticed the hole, um, and I knew this was an item that would sell anyway, especially this time of year. And I could probably still get some pretty decent money even with the flaw. I don't typically like to sell items with flaws, but you know, uh, if it's not too crazy, um, you know, you can usually get away with it. Okay, uh, up next uh, we got this Lego Marvel Avengers, just a Nintendo 3DS game. Nothing crazy. I paid 99 cents for this at my local Goodwill. Uh, I was really surprised because most of the games at my local Goodwill are like 3.99 to 5.99 a game. Um, kind of crazy there. Uh, you can't really, it's hard to touch stuff in there, but I got this for 99 cents. Uh, this sold for 14.84, uh, free ship. This just went one of them little six by nine uh, padded priority or uh, six by nine little bubble mailers, so not too bad. Up next, um, this is something I picked up at a garage sale. Um, occasionally, like I said, uh, this we'll call it a bread and butter item, but this is going to be a little more uh, rare or obscure to find. Uh, but diecast die cast stuff does sell, um, especially you know keep out keep your eye out for uh, more oddball stuff. This here is a 1966 a uh, little Chevy Nova, um, but with a rat fink. Um, uh, oh, what do I call um, Ed Big Daddy Roth? Um, he's he's uh, the artist um, who's known for um, the rat fink logo. It, it's 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 uh, synonymous with a lot of muscle cars and uh, that sort of scene. Uh, it's pretty desirable. Um, you know, like I said, if you're in that uh, in drag racing um, and, and that sort of stuff. So, uh, but anyway, I picked this up uh, for 10 bucks at a garage sale. Now, the 10 bucks is kind of a lot for a, uh, a little die cast, but I knew this was going to be a little more rare and uh, kind of highly collectible, I guess. Uh, not a lot of these out there. Um, this sold for 40 to 11, so not too bad. Uh, I was trying to get it for a little less. This guy was naive. To, it was all I could do to get the ten bu get it for ten bucks. He was really uh, hoping to get a little bit more out of me, but uh, he had a lot of diecast stuff, and uh, you know this was just one of the more uh, unique items, so I scooped that up. Okay, up next uh, we got this vintage Mustang Ranch uh, from uh, Nevada, just a snapback uh, trucker hat. I actually sold this on Poshmark uh, earlier um, in the year. This sold for around thirty some dollars on Poshmark. Uh, I ended up selling on eBay for twenty fifty. Uh, really nice hat, just a great, just basically, uh, you know, uh, from the, from the eighties, just new old stock. Um, I don't think it was ever worn, just really, really uh, super nice hat. And, you know, obviously it's a little on the more risque side, but, uh, this sold, like I said, for 2050, I was into this hat for a buck, uh, on Poshmark, it never made it to the address for whatever it ended up getting a return to sender. So I just ended up relisting it, uh, back up on eBay and like I said, she sold, so. Another little bread and butter item. Uh, these are Peter Millar summer comfort shirts. Uh, I picked this up at my local Goodwill. I paid two ninety nine for this, which is a great price for the Peter Millar summer comfort. Pink is probably one of my favorite colors to pick up, uh, especially in guys' clothes. Um, and uh, pink seems to always sell well, sell pretty quick for me. Uh, this went for twenty three forty nine. Um, not too bad. Most of you guys all know about Peter Millar and summer comfort. Um, uh, here's another little item. Um, I don't know where I got this. It could have been just with an old GPS I had that didn't work. Um, but these things do sell. Uh, it's another really good bread and butter item. You guys could pick these up in your thrift stores probably for 50 cents or, or less at garage sales. Um, I see these uh, laying around. But this is just a genuine Garmin GPS car charger. Uh, these things are pretty desirable. Um, you know, people are always losing them. Maybe need one for another vehicle so they don't want to be moving them back and forth. Uh, this sold for $12.50. Uh, not too bad for uh, something that I was probably into this, I know, for either free or 50 cents or less. Um, every once in a while, I'll take and pick these up. So, And these these actually ship for like 275 in a first-class bubble mailer. So I just wrap a little bit of um, bubble wrap around it and then just shove it in one of those and out the door it goes. So I think they come in under four ounces. Okay, up next, um, this here is a Hitachi bread maker bread pan and paddle. Um, like I said, my buddy Cameron over at Flashback Finds, I talked to Cameron quite a bit, extremely knowledgeable individual. I will put a link to uh, his store um, or his YouTube channel. He's actually another YouTuber. Um, you guys want to watch a YouTuber that actually uh, drops knowledge um, in all his videos. This guy, every single video he does is just knowledge, knowledge, knowledge. Uh, I've been watching this guy probably almost since he started. Um, 
You know, there are a lot of guys out there that, you know, they're making videos every single day and what have you. This guy's part-time, man, and he's cranking out some ridiculous numbers. You can see by the little cards down below. Uh, this is what he's doing every single week, part-time. Uh, this guy's a real hustler, and, man, I learned something in, in every single one of his videos, probably more than one or two things per video. Uh, Cameron's just a really, really great guy and a wealth of information. So if you guys want to follow somebody, uh, drops a lot of knowledge, man, every single day, go check out Cameron and Flashback Finds. Uh, absolutely Probably one of my favorite channels to watch. Um, up next, uh, this here is just a uh, vintage Tonka uh, antique, I guess, whatever you want to call it, a little Jeep Jeepster. Um, yeah, uh, you know, I know I listen to this kind of bread and butter. This one may not be so much bread and butter, but I do kind of keep an eye out for older uh, Tonka toys, um, Nylant, uh, Buddy L. Um, that sort of stuff. So, um, you know, especially if you, you, the old metal toys, um, if you can figure out if they're from the 70s, sometimes 80s, uh, they are definitely desirable. This one here sold for $37.42. I think with the shipping, it sold for about $53. Bucks. So uh, I was into this for $10. I picked this up at a little, uh, actually, I got this at a consignment shop uh, locally. Um, I walked in there. They usually sell a lot of high-end clothes, and I happened to just see this sitting up on a shelf, so I scooped that up. I was really happy to find that. And this one here actually comes with a trailer. Um, if you can find this with the trailer, this sells for right around 100 bucks. So uh, if you can find the trailer, it definitely uh, adds quite a bit of uh, value to this little item here. Uh, another, like I said, just another hat, like I said, bread and butter item. Most of all my hats I sell for $20 at a bare minimum. Uh, this one here is just a Nike PGA Tour. Um, you know, golf hat, this one went for, uh, 1961, so, you know, nothing crazy, just a basic hat, but, you know, like I said, one of those bread and butter items, I love picking up hats. Uh, this here's an L.L. Bean, flat lined uh, hurricane shirt, um, just a nice heavy, uh, heavyweight shirt, uh, from L.L. Bean, and this was a medium, medium tall, I, I believe, um, you know, just, like I said, this time of year, this stuff sells well. This one sold for uh, $34.23. I was into this for $4, and the buyer paid shipping on top. So I think with the shipping, this went for around $42. Bucks. So uh, that's what they were into that for. So, you know, like I said, just a nice little bread and butter item. This time of year, I'm always looking for quilted heavy flannel shirts, jackets, uh, you know, the heavy items. I mean, it's it's cold. Um, this here's the Vans. Um just a button front flannel shirt. I think I picked three of these up one day. I've sold all of them. I've actually sold this one before, and this one came back. Uh, so I just relisted it, and she sold again. So um, it was just a size issue. The guy just said it didn't fit. So, you know, I had no problem taking that back. I knew uh, this would take and sell right away. But, uh, you know, nice pattern on it, what have you. Um, like I said, this one went for uh, $21.19. I was into this for 4 bucks, so not too crazy. And this was still light enough in uh, shippers class. Uh Another uh, bread and butter item, I love picking up golf shoes. Um, golf stuff sells all year round, you know, like that Peter Millar shirt. Um, you know, that's one of them just dry fit performance shirts, golf shoes, same thing. Uh, these are just a pair of Foot Joy Contour Series, uh, golf spikes. Nothing crazy, but these sold for $38.79 plus buyer paid shipping. With the shipping, I believe that was uh, $50.74. I was into these for $3, and I got these at a garage sale. Just kind of cleaned them up really nice and uh, put them up on the eBay, and they uh, sold, so... Not too bad. So there's a brand. Um, this is a new brand to me, so I did a little research in the thrift store. When I seen it, I figured this was uh, something pretty decent. But this is Moonstone. Um, it's kind of like a, uh, I would, we'll just put it along the lines of like a North Face, a Patagonia, a Mountain Hardware, uh, that sort of uh, um, type of um, outdoor uh, item. But this here is, like I said, this is a Moonstone. Uh, waterproof Gore-Tex. Anytime you see Gore-Tex and stuff, definitely want to pick it up. Uh, but it's like a ski snowboard type jacket, raincoat. You know, I use all those little keywords. Uh, I paid $6.99 for this at my local Goodwill. Uh, it sold for $36.59 and it was super lightweight. Um, I had a couple people actually must have been using this to pack it because they were wanting to know the exact weight of this jacket. So, um, you know, maybe people use it for hiking. Uh, it, the hood actually had like a cap built into the hood. Um, so, you know, they, I, I suppose that, you know, like I said, it was, uh, being used that way as well. And, uh, I know the one person actually mentioned something about how weight, um, was a very important issue. So, um, she wanted that. So I was more than happy to provide it. Um, Travis Matthews. I think I, uh, I think I shared a Travis Matthews shirt in that last sales in the video I did last week. Uh, another one of them bread and butter brands I pick up. You don't hear a lot of people talking about it, but man, it, Travis Matthews stuff sells really quick for me. Uh, pretty much whenever I get it, they go right away. 
Um, you know, I usually try to get into them for under four bucks. This one here, I paid the dollar ninety nine for at my local Goodwill. Uh, this here, this is a this here was actually a retail arbitrage item. This here is a fit tea. Um, green tea detox sort of stuff. I, I got a few more of these left. Uh, this sold for $14.79. I was into these for just a couple bucks. Uh, I picked them up uh, locally here at a, at a source I, I, I have. Uh, you know, yeah, everybody, everybody's supporting a healthy lifestyle right now, uh, being the first of the year. Everybody wanting to get healthy, I guess. So, uh, yeah, anyway, I picked that up. Um, let me say I got a couple, couple more of those left. Um, and then uh, last for eBay, um, this, this here is a uh, TJ uh, Berry Tales, just a little school book, uh, whatever. For, it's kind of like for uh, a Teddy Ruxpin type of bear um, sort of thing or whatever, um, just uh, educational learning sort of thing. Uh, I picked this up at my local Goodwill. Uh, I think I paid $2.99 for this, and this sold for $21.79 free ship. So not too bad. Let's go ahead and take and jump over to Poshmark. i show you some, a couple of sales I had over there on Poshmark. Uh, over this past week. Uh, Poshmark was really slow this week, to be honest. Um, you know, I guess eBay was a little on the slow side as well for me. But uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and take and uh, show you some Poshmark sales. All right, first up, uh, I sold this Nautica Competition. Um, I, I like picking up Nautica Competition stuff. I don't find it very often, but it usually does sell pretty well. And this was a great size. This is a nice 3XL men's um, just fleece jacket. So uh, this sold for 32 bucks, so not too bad. And it was, it was into this, I believe, for $4.99. So not a bad pickup. Uh, next, uh, we've got this uh, Columbia Men's Wisconsin Badgers. Um, just a fleece vest. Uh, really nice, uh, just a nice fleece vest. You know, I don't pick up a lot of Columbia stuff, but there are a couple things that I will pick up. Um, being this is Columbia, and, uh, you know, it's got a, a school logo and stuff like that on it. Makes it a little more rare, a little more desirable. Um, but, yeah, this one went for 29 bucks, so not too bad. You know, plus they paid shipping and taxes and all that stuff on top of that, so... Uh, really nice, um, really nice return there. And then finally, uh, sold this uh, Nike um, Double Extra Large Houston Ash Astros uh, H-Town, just uh, graphic t-shirt, dry fit shirt. Uh, this one here sold for 25 bucks, um, you know, and they paid uh, shipping and taxes and all that on top. So on uh, Poshmark, that adds about another 10 bucks on to uh, the sale price. So uh, really happy with that, and I was into that, I believe, for $3.99 at my local Goodwill. So I um, found that right around the time of uh, the World Series. So I was really hoping uh, Houston was going to pull it out and this was going to sell then. But uh, uh, for whatever reason, you know, they didn't make it, and this ended up setting. But, uh, yeah, somebody snatched it up over here on Poshmark. So, yeah, I'm definitely happy about that. Okay, guys, uh, yeah, so that's uh, pretty much all my uh, eBay Poshmark sales uh, for the past week. Just basically wrapped out the end of the year here. Um, definitely want to thank everybody who's uh, followed me and supported me over the past year, um, or the past years, to be honest. Uh, you know, I did get a lot of videos done uh, this past year, but I definitely am going to work on uh, doing a lot more of that this year. Uh, you know, things have uh, kind of changed a little bit here the, uh, with the family dynamic and what have you. Everybody's good. Everybody, you know, things are all going well right now. So uh, hopefully uh, that, that's all great. And I hope everything's doing well for uh, you guys. Is, uh, also. So anyway, guys, uh, yeah, if you have any questions or comments for me, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I'm always happy to answer those. Uh, you know, I love hearing from everybody. If there's something I can do, change, whatever, uh, you know, yeah, definitely uh, throw them out there, man. I, I, like I said, I, I love to hear it. Uh, but anyway, yeah, um, if you guys like this sort of thing um, and you guys are new to the channel, please, uh, please hit the um, subscribe button. Um, you know, you'll get notifications every time a new video like this comes out. Uh, you know, once it gets garage sale season and stuff, occasionally I'll put out some other videos as well. Uh, definitely on my to-do list for this year is uh, make a few more different uh, sort of videos and what have you. So anyway, uh, yeah, feel free to give me a thumbs up if you did like this. Uh, you know, if you didn't, I get it. And, uh, you know, maybe not. it's not for you, not for everybody. But, uh, you know, I kind of try to tail tailor this uh, a little more to the newer sellers. Um or the guys maybe who've just been doing this a little bit, but maybe looking for some different items uh, to take and source. I, I try to be pretty well rounded uh, with a lot of the stuff that I source and pick up. Um, you know, just diversify, not niche myself into one quarter. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it. That's my time. Thanks for watching, everybody. And as always, fins up. Bye bye, everybody. Have a great day and a happy new year.